So you know the story about Little Red Riding Hood? Classic! But this is a twist on that story. Oh, a Hanukkah twist? Yes, and I'm so excited about Hanukkah. You see, ladies and gentlemen, my best friend, Delta Dinosaur. That's me. Loves Jewish stuff because he's Jewish. I am. I am the chosen dinosaur. So it really works out very well for me because I get to have Christmas at home and I get all the goodies of Hanukkah. Double whammy. Okay, let's read. All right, Little Red Ruthie. A Hanukkah tale. So it's a classic tale with a twist. And I think you're gonna love it. Here we go. It was a chilly winter in the northern woods. But Ruthie did not mind. Every year, she and her grandmother made latkes together for Hanukkah. Today, she was on her way to Bubi Basha's house on the other side of the forest. Now, Bubi is the Yiddish word for grandma. So she's going to grandma's house, but not in a... And a, and she, she, it's a puffy red coat instead of the cape. Okay, all right, so the twist begins with the wardrobe. Ruthie was taking sour cream and applesauce to go along with the yummy potato pancakes they would make. Oh, I love those Hanukkah treats. She carefully packed her basket and kissed her mother goodbye. Stay safe, my little red Ruthie, and stick to the path. I promise, Mommy, she said, and she skipped along the trail. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, did you see that? I just spotted him in the corner. Let's see if maybe he doesn't, oh, there he is. Oh, he's still there. Snow began to fall. Soon a white blanket covered the ground, causing Ruthie to lose her way. Oh no. Suddenly, whoa, something jumped out from behind a tree. Ruthie found herself face to face with a wolf. No, and he looks hungry and mean and toothy. Little girl, said the wolf, I'm going to eat you up. Well, Ruthie's heart was racing. I mean, can you blame her? Her tummy flip-flopped. She could not let the wolf know she was scared. Oh, who's this? Oh, little squirrel guy. It's not going to be very helpful, though. It was Hanukkah, and Ruthie wanted to be brave as the Maccabees. Who are the Maccabees? You'll find out later. Being a clever girl, she offered a smart and speedy reply. Mr. Wolf... She explained, underneath my puffy coat, I am actually skinny as a twig, but I'm on my way to cook latkes with my bubby bashi. Each day of Hanukkah, I plan to eat a plate full of delicious potato pancakes. When the holiday's over, I'm sure to be as round as a pancake myself. If you wait this way, you know, like uh, eight days, you are guaranteed to have a better meal. Why not eat me then? Okay. That's, that's, I mean, she is using reason. I don't know if that works with these kinds of vicious animals, but maybe. Oh, look at that. Her words were so enticing, the wolf agreed. He even led her out of the thicket and back to the trail. The squirrel's like, I can't believe this. The bird's tweeting about it, like, you're not going to believe what I just saw. It's a miracle. And then these guys are like, who is that? That's not a wolf. But Oh, nature took over. His stomach began to rumble. In the distance, his tasty morsel was disappearing. Deal's off, he declared, leaping through the forest and arriving at Bubby Basho's cottage before Ruthie. Perhaps he would, I don't know, eat the grandmother first? Keep his options open. I know, I know you're horrified, but that's how wolves think, right? Especially the hungry ones. But there was a note on the door. Dear Ruthie, I went to the village to buy us a Hanukkah treat. I will be back soon. Hug, hug, hug. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Bubby Basha. Well, the wolf can't read. And since nobody was home, and that was a big disappointment, uh, while waiting for Ruthie to arrive, he decided to entertain himself by, you know, look at him, a fashion show. He was trying on some of Bubby Basha's clothes, admiring himself in the mirror, probably thinking how fabulous he looks and... He's always naked out there. Maybe he should add some clothing to his wardrobe. Ruthie, on the other hand, was an excellent reader. Kid time story timer. Learning that her grandmother was running an errand, she was surprised to see a light inside the cottage. And that's not the only surprise she's about to see. She appeared through the window and recognized the wolf. I must be as brave as a Maccabees, 
she reminded herself, pushing aside a wave of fear. Ruthie greeted the wolf like an old friend. Wow, that girl is brave. Mr. Wolf, how hungry you must be to come all this way. Now before you gobble me up, allow me to fry up a platter of luscious latkes. Once I am gone, they won't have the chance to enjoy their heavenly taste. No, you won't enjoy their heavenly taste if she's gone. Well, that sounded delightful. <laughs> Convinced once again. But the wolf was used to eating his food raw. Hurry up, he demanded, and skip the frying part. We can't. Ruthie insisted. A latke is not a latke unless it's fried. Oil is very important in the Hanukkah story. Now, nobody had ever shared a story with the wolf. No story at all. Poor Aiden in that kitchen, I'm sorry, Tim. So Ruthie told him the tale of the Maccabees' victory. When the Maccabees took back their temple, she explained, they discovered a tiny bit of oil. Nobody believed it could provide light for more than one day, but it lasted for eight days. That is the Hanukkah miracle, and that is why you must wait while I prepare a treat that is crispy on the outside and silky smooth on the inside. Look at that. She has him completely transfixed, just lulling him into, I don't know, is he bored? Is he just hungry? Is he hangry? Well, whatever it is, it's working. Now, Wolf was an impatient sort, but he did agree. He sat down at the kitchen table where Bubby Basha had already laid out all the ingredients. We got uh, potatoes and uh, onions and we have the eggs and the flour. And a girl is hard at work. Little Red Ruthie, go Red Ruthie, go! Ruthie was thankful for all the time she and her grandmother had made latkes together. But could she make them on her own? I mean, her life depends on it. As she worked, Ruthie found she remembered the entire recipe by heart. <sighs> it's a Hanukkah miracle. Soon the irresistible aroma of sizzling latkes filled the room. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, they're so delicious. Aren't they ready yet? Whined the hungry wolf. Well, he whined it, so it's more like, are they ready yet? <laughs> by the time Ruthie served him a stack, that's a healthy stack of potato pancakes. The drool was dripping down his chin. He ate a plateful and then another and then another. Woo! Man, that's... Potatoes are really filling. I don't think he realizes that they're going to like expand on the stomach now. Well, Bubby Basha returned. Hey, Grandma! Horrified to see Ruthie in danger. Fortunately... The wolf was now full up to his eyeballs and very groggy. It's kind of like how we all look after Thanksgiving dinner, right? Bobby, said Ruthie, our guest has been munching on some latkes, but it is surely time for his main course. Oh, she is looking surprised, but I think if she's quick, I bet grandma's quick and she's going to be on to him. No, 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 thank you, thank you. Uh, the wolf wanted nothing more than some fresh forest air and headed for the door. I see he's, he's taking this commemorative wrap uh, uh, from the grandma. Oh, uh, what a pity you must leave, said Bobby Basha. But we can't send you on your way without a treat. Oh, oh, what do I see there? Is that what I think it is? She reached into her bag and pulled out a jelly donut and placed it in the wolf's paw. Huh? Enjoy this tomorrow, she said, ushering him outside. <sighs> Ruthie breathed. A sigh of relief. After plenty of hugs and kisses, Ruthie and her grandmother lit the first Hanukkah candle and sat down at the table. Thanks to Little Red Ruthie, dinner was ready. And it was delicious. And there, and just in case you decide you want to have these delicious potato uh, pancakes, which is what they're also called, you could just freeze that and see the recipe right there. And maybe if you're lucky, your grandma, your bubby, your mom, your dad will make it for you. Oh, I hope so. I love all that, especially the jelly donut. Can we have one now? Uh, okay, why not? Even though it's not Hanukkah today, technically. Well, you know, we, uh, we could like, we could, we could practice. I'll let you practice for Hanukkah. How's that? That sounds awesome. Okay, I hope that you love this Hanukkah tale. I want to practice you. Oh, of course, of course, we do everything together. Yes, see what I mean? Best of both worlds. <sighs> see you next time, kid. On, uh, you guys want to take this? Of course. On, cake time! Sorry time! Let's go eat. Yes!